Good day learners. This presentation is for grade 10 learners and it is about the analysis and interpretation of financial statements. Grade 10 learners, this topic is very important. Why do I say that? Because what you are going to be learning in grade 10 will be applicable to partnerships in grade 11 and to companies in grade 12. So please make sure that you understand how to analyze and interpret financial statements by being able to calculate financial indicators and also being able to interpret those. Now this presentation is going to take you through one aspect of the analysis and interpretation of financial statements and that aspect is the one of profitability. I want you to look at that word very carefully and I'm sure you'll be able to identify the key aspects of this concept just by looking at the word. Now, when you look at profitability, you need to understand that it answers the following question. It answers the question, is the business efficient in its normal operating activities. Right? Is this business efficient in its normal operations? And when you're calculating the financial indicators, it is very important that you know where to find the information. And in the case of profitability, the information can be found in the income statement. The income statement. So the minute you see the word profitability, you know that the financial indicators you will be calculating, that information will be found in the income statement. Okay, now, what is the main purpose of a business? You will understand that the main purpose anyone starts a business is to earn a profit. In grade 10, like I said, you will be dealing with the sole trader and the sole trader means that there's one owner this business will only be owned by a single person and this person would have started the business in the hope of making a profit now the profit is always expressed as an amount in other words it will be in terms of rands and it is your income less your expenses now the difference between profit and profitability is that the profitability speaks to the ability of a of a business rather the ability of a business to be able to earn a profit. In other words, how well are we dealing with our operations so that we are able to earn a profit? Okay? Can you see what I meant when I said look at the word? It is the ability of a business to earn a profit. Now, when we're dealing with analyzing profitability, we'll be needing to calculate certain financial indicators. And the indicators when we're dealing with profitability are as follows. You would need to be able to calculate gross profit on cost of sales. And the other term for that is your markup percentage. So when you hear the word markup percentage you know you must look at your gross profit in terms of your cost of sales. There are other indicators as well. And that is the indicator of gross profit on sales and another term you need to get to grips with is the term of turnover. It is the same as sales. So if you were hear the word sales you know or rather if you hear the turnover you know that they are referring to sales. Another one is to look at the percentage operating profit right? on sales, percentage operating expenses on sales, that's an important one because the lower the expense the more profits, the higher the expense the lower the profit and then of course your net profit on your sales, right? your percentage net profit you will see that all these indicators are expressed in terms of percentages, 
right, in terms of percentage. Now let's look at how we calculate them. One of the important things I want you to understand is that you do not need to memorize these financial indicators. You do not need to memorize how you're going to calculate them because the way you're going to calculate them is in the financial indicator itself. Let's take a look at the first one. Percentage gross profit on cost of sales or your markup percentage. Now, because of the fact that it is a percentage, you already know that it has to be multiplied by 100 over 1. Then they tell you you will need to calculate the gross profit on the cost of sales. So what do you do? You simply take the gross profit on the cost of sales and you multiply it by 100 over 1. Gross profit on cost of sales. Can you see that? You did not need to memorize that. Percentage times 100 over 1. Gross profit over cost of sales. So if we look at the next one, I'm sure you know how to do that now. Percentage gross profit. Percentage times 100 over 1. Gross profit on sales. Gross profit on sales. So that is how you're going to calculate it. Gross profit on sales times 100 over 1. One of the important things you need to know is that you always use your net sales. What does that mean? You know that when a business sells goods, some of the goods may be returned. That goods is known as debtors allowances. That returns. And so when you calculate the net sales, you take your sales less your debtors allowances. Okay, let's look at some of the others. Percentage operating profit on sales. Percentage, so you know it's times 100 over 1. You put your operating profit over your sales. And then the last one, well not the last one, but another one is your operating expenses. Right? Remember, the higher the expense, the lower the profit. So we want to be able to keep our operating expenses to the minimum. Okay. So it's operating expenses over sales. And now the final one is your percentage net profit on sales. Net profit over sales times 100 over 1. Okay. So profitability is the ability of a business to earn a profit and it speaks about how efficient a business is in its operations. The financial indicators you do not need to study. You simply read it and then you'll know how to calculate it. Okay? Another thing you need to know is you always use your net sales. So you deduct your allowances off from your sales. Another term you need to understand is that sales is the same as turnover. In other words, turnover refers to sales. All the best grade 10 learners in the analysis of your financial statements and especially in terms of profitability. That's all for now.